from Radio Deutsche Welle in Cologne, Melody Time. We invite you to join us for 30 minutes of light classical music. Hello there, I'm Maurice O'Brien de Clare. Welcome to the program. On the 21st of March 1866, the very first Viennese military operetta was premiered at the Karl Theater. It was called Leichte Cavalerie, or Light Cavalry, and was written by Franz von Suppé. Now, the Viennese always did have a deep affection for military music. Alongside their military duties, the army musicians staged concerts and recitals. They were very competent music teachers, and very often were asked to play at balls and such-like festivities. Actually, quite a number of the more famous Viennese composers started their careers as conductors, of military bands. So when he started writing Leichte Cavalerie, Franz von Suppé thought he had a winner, but he'd reckoned without the harsh realities of history. In less than three months after the premiere, Austria went to war with Prussia. The Seven Weeks War, as it was later called, ended with the disastrous defeat of the Austrian army, almost at the gates of Vienna itself. The outcome of the Seven Weeks' War banished Austria to a second-rate power and set off rebellious rumblings within the empire itself. So, not surprisingly, the army was less than popular. And Leichte de Cavalerie, Vienna's first military operetta, was closed down. The overture, however, continued to be a popular concert piece. And here it is, played by the Vienna Philharmonic, conducted by Zubin Mehta.
overture to the operetta Leichte Cavalerie by Franz von Suppé. The Marriage of Figaro is perhaps the best known of Mozart's operas. Now, the character Figaro was originally created for the stage by the famous French playwright Beaumarchais. Figaro, the wily valet, who runs circles around his aristocratic master, the Count. Now, the Count is furious when he discovers that his page boy, Cherubino, is flirting with the lady of his affections. It doesn't worry him in the least that the young lady in question is, in fact, Figaro's bride-to-be. Understandably, Figaro is none too pleased, so he sets in motion a devious plot full of twists and turns to foil the lovesick Count and keep his job into the bargain. Well, he succeeds. Full of remorse, the Count is reunited with his wife, the Countess. Figaro is to marry his beloved Susanna, and the page boy, alas for Carabino, there's no happy end. He must go to the army. But Figaro feels a little sorry for him, and tries to persuade him that life in the army can be quite fun. His aria describing military life is full of irony, and in fact is a parody of a soldier's lot. Here it is, Non Pio Andrei, sung by John Tomlinson, the Berlin Philharmonic is conducted by Daniel Barenboim. <laughs>
Don Pio Andrei from Mozart's opera The Marriage of Figaro. Now, listening to this aria, one could be excused from knowing whether to march or dance to the melody. Well, the maestro himself later arranged this operatic aria into a delightful contradance. We'll hear this in just a few moments. Of course, Mozart loved dancing, and one tends to forget that his numerous dance melodies were written not for the concert hall, but for the ballroom. I'd like you to listen to two examples played by the Vienna Mozart Ensemble conducted by Willy Boskowski. The first, a contradance based on the aria Non Pio Andrei, is quite short. This is followed by a Lendler, the forerunner of the waltz, and is catalogued German Dance Number no. 3. The middle part is particularly attractive. You can clearly hear the sound of sleigh bells and a post horn, and so this dance is popularly known as the sleigh ride. short dance pieces by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. We began the program with an overture by Franz von Suppé. Now I'd like you to hear a piece of salon music written by this maestro of operetta. He composed it for his friend and colleague Franz Doppler. Now Doppler, as well as being a composer, was a brilliant flute virtuoso and famous throughout Europe for his craft. When he first played Suppé's Il Primo Amore, or First Love, at a guest performance in Vienna, the audience was utterly captivated. From that time on, it was considered a must for musical evenings at home sessions. Listen now to Werner Tast as he plays Il Primo Amore by Franz von Suppé. He's accompanied on the piano by Siegfried Stückigt. <laughs> Thank you. 
Il Primo Amore by Franz von Suppé. The Land of Smiles by Franz Lehár broke with operetta tradition by not having a happy end. It's the unhappy love story of Lisa, a beautiful lady from Vienna, and Su Chong, a Chinese prince of noble and long ancestry. Another pair in the operetta shared the same unhappy fate, me, sister of the luckless prince, and the gallant Count Gustl, also from Vienna. Listen now as they sing of their love for each other, never dreaming that it's just not to be. Meine Liebe, deine Liebe, my love, your love. The duet is sung by Brigitte Lindner and Martin Finke, accompanied by the Munich Radio Orchestra, conducted by Willy Boskowski. Als Gott die Felder schuf, von alle Menschen weich, alle Blumen blühten dort für uns und wie für euch. Und es gab nicht weiß und gelb und schwarz und ab und reich. Jedoch im Lauf der Zeit entspannt der schöne Brauch. Alle Menschen sind verschieden und die Sitten auch. Nur wenn unsere Herzen sprechen zärtlich süß, ist es noch genauso wie im Paradies. Meine Liebe, deine Liebe, die sind beide gleich. Jeder Mensch hat nur ein Herz und nur ein Himmel. Meine Liebe, meine Liebe, die sind beide gleich. Jeder Mensch hat nur ein Herz und nur ein Himmelreich. Meine Liebe, meine Liebe, hat denselben Sinn. Ich liebe dich und du liebst mich und da liegt alles drin. Der kühle Englischmann, der zeigt nicht sein Gefühl. Doch der deutsche Dichter tut es guten oft zu viel. Und dem Herrn Franzosen ist es ein Gesellschaftsspiel. In China ist man zart und seufzt im Unentschein. Und in Wien da lernt und wird in Tübar erst beim Wein. Doch wenn sich entwickelt, dann der Dinge lauf, kommen alle Menschen mit der Zeit darauf. Meine Liebe, meine Liebe, die sind beide gleich. Jeder Mensch hat nur ein Herz und nur ein Himmelreich. Meine Liebe, deine Liebe hat denselben Sinn. Ich liebe dich und du liebst mich und, und da liegt alles drin. Meine Liebe, Deine Liebe, from The Land of Smiles by Franz Lehár. I'd like to finish today with a rousing march. It was written by Johann Strauss, the son, for the band of the famous 4th Artillery Regiment, better known by the curious name Hoch und Deutschmeister, or High and Deutschmaster. The year was 1896, and the Viennese-based regiment was celebrating its 200th birthday. Appropriately enough, the march was called the Deutsch Master Jubilee March, and here it is, played by the Czech Slovak State Philharmonic Orchestra, conducted by Alfred.
the Deutschmaster Jubilee March by Johann Strauss the Sun. And there we end this edition of Melody Time, the program which was produced by Rick Volker with sound engineer Christian Gericke came to you from Radio Deutsche Welle in Cologne, Germany. This has been Maurice O'Brien de Clare wishing you all the very best and do take care, won't you? Bye now.